What's going on everyone? It is Joe DeLonewar and if you're looking for a little bit of a curb appeal, literally a curb appeal, then landscape lighting is an easy DIY project that you can do at home. Let me show you mine. Let's get started. So landscape lighting, they make it very simple for you to do. They sell different size wires. They sell 16 gauge, 14, 12. This is actually a 16 gauge right here. Again, got this at Home Depot. This is at 16 two, meaning there, there are two wires in there. There's two copper wires. All you have to do is strip the end. Make sure you cut off the ends. Obviously strip your wires. If you have a, stri a wire stripper, that makes life easier. Then from there, all you gotta do is connect the end there to your transformer. And then what you're gonna do is send out the rest of the wire to the various parts of the yard that you want your different spotlights or different lights that you want for your landscape lighting. Now for my yard, I mostly just use spotlights just like this one right here. Again, this is Hampton Bay. Uh, this one has different uh, different different strengths of the, uh, the light that it actually emits, but they're all low voltage, which is great. It's only emitting four watts per light which is great so it's very inexpensive when it comes to actual actual electricity part because again it's called low voltage for a reason but what i really love about these spotlights are the ends you don't have to actually strip the end when you get to where you want to put your spotlight all you have to do is take these clips right here and they make it so easy now today where you actually take your wire you can put it in between there and then obviously if this was plugged in, the light would turn on. But what you're gonna do is, is once you clamp that down, the power will come on and then the spotlight will come on and then you can point it to wherever you want in your yard. So this is the actual transformer right here. They do have a photo cell option on this Hampton Bay where you can hook it up to a dust to dawn option. I usually always do a time on and time off. I just adjust it during daylight savings time. That's the only time I really have to adjust it is during daylight savings time. Again, they do make this in an app version where you can hook this up to an app and you can control everything on your app. But again, it's really not that hard just to come out here, press a couple buttons and change the time if you want to. So as you can see, the transformer box is there. I have a wire that runs along here, or along the front of my house, and it runs through the front of my house, my two front windows, and then I have various spotlights that are tapped off of that main line right there. So I'm gonna come back out here at nighttime and sh film the best that I can, but I have a spotlight that shines up here. I have a, sh a, a one that shines up in the middle here. And then I have one that shines down here up along this side right here as well. So here's a really good example of the main line that I have. Hopefully you can see the black line. I didn't bury this line because I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna tap off of this one anymore or what I'm, if I wanna move any of these lights. But what I did was is actually in the winter time, this side of my house is very dark. I do have a security light there in the middle, but I wanted to just up like this a little bit more so what I did was I went out, got a couple more spotlights to put them along here. So here you go. You have the main line that runs down here. There, you, There's the tap off right there. It runs to my light right here, which illuminates this side of my house. So at nighttime, this is getting nice and bright. You can see I can adjust this up and down. I can move it if I want. I can, I can pick it up. It's just a stake in the ground. I can move it however I want. If I want it to come back and uplight it more directly onto the siding, I can. Here, I kind of have it going up the side this, of the siding of the house. But again, it's very versatile. It's very easy to do. Again, if I want to bury this, this is just a mulch flower bed. I can just easily put this under the mulch if I want to. If not, I can just leave it on top. Kind of blends in with the brown mulch a little bit. You really don't notice it from afar. So the most difficult thing that you're gonna face when putting in landscape lighting is obviously if you wanna branch off of your main line, but it's very simple to do, especially if you're dealing with grass or dirt, something like this. It's very easy to just dig out a trench and branch off of that line. So what I wanted to do was branch off the main line that's in front of the Christmas tree right there, and I wanted to uplight these trees right here. Very simple process. Again, I got my spade out. Any kind of straight edge sho shovel will do. This one's deep enough where if you don't have to actually dig a full trench out, if you can get down deep enough, you can just slip your landscape wiring down because you're just dealing with low voltage wiring. It's nothing, you know, super thick, super, you know, hard to deal with. If you can get down and wiggle that sod back and forth enough, throw that line down. And then over time, you're not even going to notice that it's there. I don't even notice that mine is there anymore. I honestly probably wouldn't be able to tell you where it exactly is in my lawn because it's been about four years since I've actually buried that line. 
but I haven't had any problems. These trees get fully lit at nighttime. I'll show you here in a little bit. So the only other thing that I really wanted to show you was this T right here. If you want to branch off like I was saying and you don't want to have to deal with connecting the wires together with actual wire nuts, they actually sell these in the store. This actually just screws up like this. It's, it screws all the way up. You feed your two wires on both sides, you clamp this down, and then this basically just continues the circuit. So it's flowing electric this way to a light that I have right here, and then it's flowing electric out through my garage, out to another part of my yard. These things are a lifesaver, especially if you're not super handy with electric and you wanna deal with wire nuts. So it's nighttime now, and as you can see here, I have a red, white, and blue theme out front. These are the Bluetooth lights. I'm gonna show you how they work here in a second. And then out over here, you can see the tree right here they have three spotlights on this main front tree right here this is one of the big this is this tree you pretty much see when you first come around the corner of my development I do a really cool frozen theme to this tree during Christmas time but as you can see there's an up lighting effect that I do I angle these lights upward so the the lights are shining up through the trunk of the tree and through the lights so that way this tree gets lit really bright which I really love so then we come over to the side of the house now and I'm gonna show you those three lights that I was talking about earlier and how they up light up the, the siding as opposed to directly on to the siding. So as you can see, we have the three lights right here. As you can see, they're going up the siding and not directly onto the siding. So it's kind of, it gives you a better glow effect. It kind of makes the light go further to, uh, width wise. That's what I really love about these spotlights. They're very versatile, which is great. And then you can see we have a security light there in the middle. It's a motion detected light. That's just an added security for me. Then we have that tree back there. It gets two uh, spotlights as well. Again, up lighting uh, through up the tree and then through the branches and up basically from the bottom of the tree and up to the top of the tree. The only other spots that I have lighting are here on the side of my garage door. On my one side I have lights and then on the other side here I have lights as well. And then over here I have my flagpole with my American flag at the top. It is actually a wall that you're supposed to have an American flag lit at night. So for me, I just did put the spotlight down there. It gets a pretty good, it's, it, it is pretty dark right now. Um, so as you can see, it does, it lets it up pretty good and it has a nice effect at the bottom there. So, which is great. So like I was saying earlier, the three lights out here, the red, white, and blue ones are Bluetooth uh, enabled. It's called Hubspace. It's an app right here on your phone. You can download it. It's very easy to program these. They're com controlled by Wi-Fi, so you could pretty much do it. You could change these pretty much anywhere you have Wi-Fi, and as long as your Wi-Fi is connected to these devices, which is awesome. What I really love about them is I've been looking for something like this for, like I was saying, a long time now. Something that's uh, multicolor, not just a red, white, and blue thing. You can, you know, you could do different colors: orange, you know, green, purple, whatever. So right here, it's really easy to program everything on your phone. So right now, I have it color coded to the red, white, and blue theme that I'm looking for. I'm gonna leave this up through election day. And then I probably will change this to some sort of orange for fall or for Halloween time. So for some reason, I wanna do a purple theme for uh, you know like a, a scary theme. I can easily change the center to a purple color. It's very easy to do. You can just go right into the app. I can change it to a purple-ish color. And then I can bring the brightness up as well. So again, very easy to do. So there we got a nice little gloomy, it look, it's coming up as blue, but in my eyes from here, it, it from the, uh, not the camera view, but my actual eyes, it looks purple. But if you wanted to do a Christmas theme, we can do red. We could do uh, white in the middle here. And then and we could do the left, the red, and then we can do the right, we can make it a green so there we go we got a nice christmas theme going with the red white and green so it's very versatile this bluetooth and as you can see it changes very quickly which is awesome so there you guys have it there's landscape lighting for you it's really easy to do it's really easy to install and with those bluetooth features now on your phone with these new hampton bay bluetooth lights it's awesome it's so great to be able to customize them now to a color that you want so if you have a birthday you have a gender reveal whatever you know valentine's day it's endless saint patrick's day you name it you can change these colors it's so easy to do as i showed you guys here today so go check it out Go to Home Depot. I have had a lot of success uh, with the Hampton Bay brand. Um, you know, it's pretty inexpensive, I would say, landscape lighting overall. 
So if you're looking for that curb appeal at nighttime, landscape lighting, low voltage lighting is your way to go. If you enjoyed today's video, if you found today's video helpful, make sure you smash that like button. It really does help out with the channel. If you have any questions or concerns on today's video, leave it down in the comment section below. And if you're interested in any of my other content, I'm available on Instagram, I'm available on TikTok, go check me out there. And like always guys, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.